Welcome to Tech Brothers with Namir with new tutorial demonstration of MariaDB. This is the very first chapter installation and configuration. We'll learn how to install MariaDB on Windows 10 in this video. I don't see really a, a real time usage of installing MariaDB on Windows 10. This can be used maybe for development or something. But uh, when you are going to install MariaDB on Windows, maybe you would be using Mar uh, Windows 2012 uh, server or Windows 2016 server. Now, anyways, go ahead and uh, we will learn these uh, uh, topics here. This can be the same implemented on uh, Windows uh, Server 2012 and Windows uh, Server 2016. Um, we'll download MariaDB, we'll install MariaDB, we'll connect to the MariaDB and we'll create database. Uh, so the very first thing we need to download, uh, open uh, Google uh, in your uh, Chrome or uh, Firefox or whatever the Explorer you are using. And then uh, we are going to type uh, download MariaDB. The very first or second uh, uh, link I see right here is the downloads.maria.org. Let's click on that one. And now we have different versions available for MariaDB. The, the stable version is the 10.0 and you can see that right here. There are other ones if you would like to see. I'm going to go ahead and uh, use this latest one. And this is a stable uh, right now. So we hit on this one. And then uh, from uh, this uh, column you can see the MariaDB is available for Linux and Windows. Uh, I'm going to use MSI package uh, right here. That's uh, MariaDB 10.0.11. Uh, and it can be installed on uh, Windows 20, uh, 86 or 64. If you would like to take a look on your system, you can go and go to system. And that's where you can see your uh, system type. Uh, my system is 64-bit operating system and 64-based uh, processor. So let's close this one and now download this MSI. It will take few seconds. In my case, uh, it uh, take around 10 seconds. It's pretty quick. Now let's open this file in a folder location. Right here is the file. So we can right click here and say install very quick uh, uh, wizard uh, show up uh, and welcome to MariaDB 10.0 and uh, set up wizard hit next okay we accept the terms uh, hit next and then uh, we have different options to select uh, we can select database instance client programs and backup utilities uh, if I don't I'm not interested uh, I can uh, remove this uh, uh, feature from here but I'm gonna keep this all features uh, and if you remember with SQL Server, we have SSMS, uh, SQL Server Management Studio that we use uh, to connect to the SQL Server uh, and write queries and see the results. So this third party tool, uh, Heidi SQL, is pretty much used the same way. So I will show you the example in, uh, at the end of the video. Let's keep that uh, as it is. And uh, right here, we see the location where it is installing. Uh, it is installing on C program files, MariaDB 10.0. You can browse and change the location where you would like to. I'm going to keep this one as it is. Hit next. Now you will be providing uh, the password for root. Uh, let's provide. I'm going to go ahead and provide Tech Brothers. Let's uh, confirm the password. And uh, if you would like to connect to the MariaDB from another uh, machine, uh, you can enable access uh, for remote machines for you, a root user. I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to keep uh, uh, for local uh, machine. Um, Let's hit next. The name of the service uh, it will install, it will be MySQL. Okay, the port it is going to use, it is going to use 3306. Uh, I had this issue. One of my program uh, that was using this port before, so it uh, gave me error. Now, I uninstalled that program that was not really important for me. But if you want to change the port, you can. Uh, and then keep the settings as it is. We hit next. Uh, now enable the feedback plugin um, i don't want to provide any feedback uh, so i'm gonna just leave that uh, uh, unchecked hit next and now we install it the installation um, let's hit yes the installation of mariadb is pretty quick uh, if you have installed sql server as a developer or enterprise version it take uh, some time um, like 20 minutes uh, uh, sometime 15 minutes uh, but you see that mariadb just finished in maybe 15 to 20 seconds uh, so that's pretty cool hit finish uh, now how we are going to connect to the mariadb there are multiple ways so in the type uh, here i'm going to just type mysql and uh, it is shown MySQL client uh, MariaDB 10.0. I can open this uh, desktop uh, app 
and then uh, it is asking us provide us the root password uh, let's provide the root password and we are connected to the MariaDB if we want to check uh, all the databases uh, so we'll say show databases let's see if uh, okay so case uh, uh, it's not really case sensitive when you write the queries I was curious like okay if it will ask me type all that in a small or upper cases doesn't matter so we see that there are three databases right here information schema mysql performance schema and test uh, sorry four databases uh, now if you remember that when we were installing uh, uh, MariaDB uh, it uh, installed at the C program files and then uh, Maria 10 uh, Point oh. so let's go there and see where the databases are so databases are in the data so let's click here and we can see the databases right here now if I would like to go and uh, create a new database from here so let's move this a little bit on this side I'm gonna go ahead and create a database called Tech Brothers let's keep this small just create Tech Brothers and uh, okay sorry you have to say create database uh, tech brothers and uh, now the database is created uh, you can see that folder right uh, here now inside that we have db.opt now what I'm gonna do from here I'm gonna go ahead and create another table for you create table and uh, it's called test we call it ID as integer and uh, this is it uh, what happened now okay sorry we would like to first uh, we would like to use tech brothers so tech brothers okay it is uh, the scope is changed uh, to the tech brothers now and then uh, we can go ahead and create uh, the table so this is create table test id integer okay now you can oh, sorry <laughs> this is another time i'm uh, typing fast or okay now two files are created here test.frm and test.idb so you can see that uh, you can create the tables here and uh, for each of the table uh, it will create uh, two files uh. now we are going to go back to MariaDB and uh, remember I was telling you for like a uh, connect to the SQL server we can use SSMS uh, SQL Server Management Studio and here we can use Heidi SQL that was installed as a part of uh, MariaDB installation um, let's open Heidi SQL and here you have to provide uh, the host name in our case it was a local host so this is IP and uh, okay this is our user and we provide the password let's provide the password and uh, we could see that uh, right here we can see that uh, we have MySQL we have performance schema and Tech Brothers database inside Tech Brothers we have test uh, and other databases are available as well um, so now you can explore from here uh, I will further play with it and write the queries and everything and do create tables DDL or DMLs command we will learn in a different video how to use uh, the Heidi SQL one more thing if you are not interested to use a uh, Heidi SQL or even uh, go and uh, write a uh, MySQL client uh, you can always go to the bin directory here and uh, you can uh, copy this one go to the command line and uh, command prompt and here we'll say chain directory and once you are in the bin uh, you will write uh, mysql u root uh, because that's our user and then uh, dash uh, p so the way with the providing dash p when you hit uh, enter it will ask for the password uh, so we are providing the password for the root uh, as our user is uh, root right here so once I provide that password and it will connect to the MariaDB now let's say show databases and we see all those four databases actually in this case we have uh, uh, information schema mysql performance tech browser and uh, test so there are five databases so right here five rows affected now um, I hope this video will be helpful and uh, um, I, I would uh, go ahead and finish it right, finish it right here go ahead and uh, subscribe or like uh, and I will see you guys in next uh, video thanks very much